Detective call of the day, August the 13th, 6, 24 a.m. Central Daylight Savings. I'm not quite as cool as yesterday morning. Still cool, though. I'm holding the mighty DS2 version 200 with a remote and a 9 inch coil. You know, this is a nice piece of equipment, okay? That's no bullshit. Those sharpshooters are going to show you a few things here this morning. My goal is to make you be all you can be with your DS2. If you already have one or if you decide to buy one. I look at metal detectors for tendencies. You can't take a metal detector and go out and blindly dig targets. And know necessarily what is going on. Meaning if you're just digging the good targets, the good sounding targets, you set your machine up, you might not have a clue of what you're missing. Okay? Well, I'm going to show you a few things here this morning, you know, and it might have behooved XP, believe it or not. In my personal opinion, they probably should have put something in the user's manual about this frequency shift. Hunting high iron sights, and you'll see this very clearly here in the next few minutes. Okay? Now, I'm not going to remove that nickel on that horseshoe because this machine does give iron tone sweeping from left to right. I may put the manicure over this and do a video on it later today. I don't know yet. With a 9 inch call as well. See how it sounds and what can we do on that machine to get this nickel to sound better. Or sound off at all. As you'll see in this video. Okay. Now we're only going to look at the sensitive FT. This is version 200. You see the horseshoe there, part of a horseshoe in that uh, nickel. Now that's below target plane masking. Okay. That's a fairly difficult situation there, boys. May not look it with that nickel being perched above that, but that is a very difficult detecting scenario. Okay. Disc is 6.8, and it will stay in 6.8 for the entire video. Sensitivity is 90. We're going to stay in the 40 max band, and we're just going to leave the speed at 3 the entire video, and the audio response to 4. The external speaker on this machine is maxed. Okay. We'll leave the offset at 5 the entire video. No bottle caps. 0, 06 through 0, 09 knots will remain in the machine. Silencer will be changing. We're going to look at it first at silencer 3. Alright. We're going to be changing that right there. You see that? So we're at channel 6. You hear that? We got a 62 in the meter. Okay. Now we're going to channel zero. We're just going to look at the extremes in this video. Channel zero. You hear that? Zero. Nothing. All right. So now we're going to go in here. We're going to change the size of two. Frequency max. Frequency channel six. You see that meter. You hear that signal. You see me sweeping that call. Okay. Frequency max channel zero. You hear that. Nothing. I will go to channel one. Just a flicker. Channel two. More. Channel three. Channel four. Channel five. Channel six. 
channel three. A little more. Channel four. Channel three was default setting on this machine. Channel four. Channel five. Better. Channel six. You see that meter. All right. You see where I'm going here, right? So I can run a silencer three on this machine and get a better signal at frequency shift six than I can at silencer two, frequency shift zero. How about that? Okay, let's go in here. Let's change the silencer to one. Okay. Frequency max at channel six. You see the meter and you got to hear the signal. Alright. Frequency max at channel zero. No ID. 99 comes in the window. 99, you hear that signal. Now, I've got the iron volume turned to zero. I got to tell you that. You see that? Iron volume at zero. Frequency max zero. Silencer one again. I got a 99 comes in the window. Here's default channel three. Okay, now I've got the 61 in the window. Channel five. Hear how much robust sound in that signal is. Channel one. You hear that. It's not as good a sounding signal, is it? You might like that might be iron. If I turn this iron volume on, I'll turn it up to six. Frequency max zero. Iron volume is on. All right. Channel six, iron volume on. You hear how much better that sounds. Okay. So what you're seeing in this video here is being driven a lot by the frequency. Okay. So if you go to a high iron site, you can see what can happen to you, right? I'm noise canceling this machine. Now, I don't know where it's going to go. It can't nobody tell me where this thing is going to go. Let's see where it went. Oh, it went to channel 5. That's good. That's a lot better than going to damn 0 or 1, ain't it? So when you're out there and you're using this piece of equipment in high iron, you know, we've heard some of these people, you know, Fluffy over there, you know, he claims he hunts high iron. Well, wonder what old Fluffy's left laying in the ground when this machine's been noise canceled at channel zero, one, two, or three. What exactly? You can already see running, even running this thing in a noise cancel shift channel, you know, five or six. You don't even have to run necessarily silencer one to get some performance. You can run a silencer two and make some fines maybe, depending. Just remember what that is. That's under target masking. That happens a lot in these old sites, boys. You know? The only problem is if you're running iron tone in this machine, all you may hear is the iron tone. And you may hear a, 
a signal, you know, that's like, oh, that's big iron. I hear that old iron tone, you know, and it's, it's, that's big iron. There's no doubt about it, and you walk. If this machine would have been perhaps at a higher frequency shift channel, the signal may have been more distinct sounding to you. Like, wait a minute, that's got a little vibe to it. Okay. So, yeah, this is big with this machine because this machine, truthfully, in my opinion, it's better than what most people even realize. How about that? And a lot of the people that may have tested this machine doing videos may have turned the machine on and didn't even know it was canceling. They've checked it in default 3. Well, default 3 is not as good as default 6. Okay. On average, it's not as good. Based on what I'm seeing, and I've showed you all, you know, quite a few videos here. You know, you notice it never trends where zero's ever better than six. Never does, does it? I've not seen it. I've seen ties, but I've not seen it win. Well, that's going to conclude the detecting talk of the day. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.